Hello, everyone, and welcome to D Free. These were your videos. I'm Wokey, and I'm here with Zenrod. Hi. And oh. I'm here with D Free. Hi. I'm I'm ner I'm nervous. I don't. So I don't, I don't for like people it. for people who watch to be released, uh, we said. Uh, we, what started as I bet there was a bunch of Mon the, a bunch of uh, YouTubers doing Monaco videos trying to guess what Monaco was doing, and then we said, "Man, I bet D Free made one of those videos." And then that transitioned into we should get D Free on here and talk about his old videos <laughs> and get to watch it with him because wow. that'd be a lot of fun. Did I actually make one of those about Monaco? So I looked it up. The, the, I don't want to spoil it, but there will be a point where I think by the time you Monaco showed up, it, there was like the jig was up. <laughs> Like, people knew ah. that he wasn't anything. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, D so yeah, we're here with D-Free, and we're going to look at a lot of his videos. D-Free, you uh, started, like, what? three? Based on the last video I found, like, around three years ago? Is when you first uploaded uh, something? It was 2015. It was 2015? So, yeah, it was so long. Been... You've had a very long video history, because uh, I think, you, as, as of right now, your uploads are somewhere in the 2000s range. <laughs> Yeah, I upload a lot. Although lately I've been doing a little less, but yeah, uploaded yeah. a lot over the years. Definitely. <laughs> so let's look at the very first video on your channel that I that was at least I could find. This is the very okay, first well, video. Ho hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. Okay, yeah. So 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 hold on. Let me say this. Somewhere along the line, maybe about two and a half years ago, three years ago. I went through and did a purge on a lot of my older videos. Mm -hmm. So there's actually a lot more that you're not going to see. So like my, my first video is probably not my real first video. No, because I was going to say for your first video, it was actually very nicely done. So it made me feel like, hmm, at some point you had to have purged all the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I, I purged some entire playthroughs. Like I did like a playthrough of Arkham Knight and just a lot of stuff just got purged off. So All right, that's fair enough. But this is the first one that that if people just go to your channel right now, not the true OG D free heads that have been with you since day one. But this is the first one you can find. And it is right here. This is your how to create wow. ultimate Gohan slash adult Gohan in Dragon Ball Z universe. <laughs> yeah. Was I talking in this? Yes, you're uh, actually yeah. talking. So let's hear a little yeah, bit of your old voice, guys. old D-Free oh, voice. Hey, what is going on, guys? It's your boy D-Free here, bringing you exclusive on how to create future Gohan in Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Now, uh, I did get a few requests on this. Yeah. Oh, look at that Xenoverse account. Hello? Oof. I know, this is way back in the day. That fucking gigantic ass chin you've got on your character right now. <laughs> also, your, let me see, your old voice is kind of mm. like... The creative character. You're very much like much softer spoken back then. That's uh, one thing that's changed. So, the, from your old videos that I could see, you actually used to do a lot of these specific like Xenoverse videos where you just taught how to create specific dudes. Uh, here's my question that I had when I saw this video. Isn't Gohan already in Xenoverse? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not going to let you cap on me like that. All right, all right. <laughs> to be fair, in the video later, you actually show Gohan to show your creative Gohan to the one in game. <laughs> Oh, so go man. ahead. This is all. This is a so, lot of jokes, but go ahead. Go. I'll let so, you defend yourself. What happened with this was, I noticed that I started playing a lot of Xenoverse, and I wanted to continue to just produce new characters, and I really liked like creating like characters that mainly weren't in the game. So I was like, oh hey, there's enough equipment and stuff like that to actually make Gohan. So I was like, eh, I'll just do a whole series around character creations of characters that are mainly not in the game. And trying to get like the closest facsimile to what they would look like, uh, as far as equipment and stuff, and then like the customization options. And then somewhere along the way, I was like, "Yeah, I'll also do the same thing for characters like this that are already in the game to get my own." See, like what happened here was, I think it was more or less the future Gohan aspect because I don't think he was in the game. No, um, I, to be fair to you, the future Gohan is in fact not in the game. <laughs> yeah, see, there we go. That's exactly what I'm talking about. And then it's a, since it's Gohan, it's a cross directly to Ultimate Gohan, basically. It's, I think it's like a one change. So I think that's why it became a two for one. But 
yeah, it was it was around the time where I did a lot of these, like you said, and it was yeah. pretty fun for a while. Definitely. Can but just off the dome, can you name at least five other characters that you did for your Dragon Ball Z universe creation? Just uh, five. I'll the... name them all eventually, but I want you to, you to guess five. Oh boy, I did I did a lot, man. You did do uh, a I did, lot. I did uh the female Broly. Before she became a thing, actually, which is funny. It's true, you did. I, and then yours is actually where the, the I talked about the old version of the female Broly, which is just regular Broly, but with giant boobs. Yep, basically. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I did that. I did this. Um, I feel like I did. Uh, I feel like I did some Gokus in there. I, I feel mean, like Goku would be a given. Crap. I can't remember, man. It's been too. It's been looking at this. It's been literally almost four years to the date, actually. April 30th. Wow, we're, re- we're really closing in. This is basically the D-Free anniversary video then. <laughs> yeah, we're. I think my anniversary is in April. Holy crap, I forgot. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, it's been about four years. I can't name another one. I'm sure that I did some wacky ones, though. True. Can you think of at least one Zen that you could think of? If you were in the mind specimens of D-Free and you wanted to make some character creators, who would you think of? Probably was, right. You can't say Krillin because that's not an option. Because they didn't really have anything like that. They didn't, didn't have, have any equips for a short bald man. No bald man. You could do adult Krillin. I guess big Krillin. Uh, <laughs> big Krillin. Yeah. Big old Krillin. All right. So let's let's these are the character creations that you have made. It is right after uh, Gohan. It is Gogeta, and then it's Mira. Uh, how to create Time Patroller? Who I don't know if these are an actual character. <laughs> oh, oh, the the red haired Time Patroller. He uh, he's one. Of the, he's like the, the canon OC of the first game. Yeah, yeah. He actually even has an SH figure art too. Yeah. How to create? <laughs> yeah, ni- I made him. How to create Nylon? Who again Nylon. is is that another uh hero special? A guy named Nylon. I'm guessing. I don't remember that one. Nylon. I'm googling that. Yeah, Miss Boo. Beat, oh yeah, Miss Boo. Beat yeah. from Dragon Ball Heroes. Adult okay. Go, adult Goten. And then no. Nylon is an Earthling character from Dragon Ball Online. Wow, uh, that's a deep cut. Yeah, I told you I was doing ones that I, of characters I thought were cool that weren't in the series or in the game a lot. True, like Miss Boo. So if yeah. you Google Nylon's universe, that's the first video that comes up is D Freeze <laughs> How to Create Nylon from Dragon Ball Online. <laughs> that's called getting the big fucking uh, money at that point. People now know <laughs> Nylon from D Free more than the the actual game we came from. Next is Oh uh, yeah, now I remember now that I look at him. Yeah, I, yeah. That one didn't do too well though. Yeah. Adult GT Goku, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Bardock, Tarbol, female Super Saiyan uh, legendary Broly, Metal Cooler. Uh, let me see. There's obvi- There's some more. You, over time, like you took a break from making them, and then you came back. I think. Uh, mm. Teen Chi Chi. Ah, to get back to his roots. Yeah. Uh, Teen Chi Chi, Pycon, Bulma, and also very good thumbnail arts for both Chi Chi and Bulma. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see that one. You'll see what I mean when you go to um. I'll, Did I'll- I use clickbait one? <laughs> yes, yeah, super like. Yeah. <laughs> Pity style. Yeah, Chi Chi's like her her shirt is destroyed and she's fighting, but for some reason her hands are pushing up her boobs. Oh, and Bulma. That's just the bikini. You just picked a picture of Bulma in a bikini. <laughs> Next one, we got Goken, which I think is maybe a fusion of some kind. Gokan, and then yeah. I believe your last two, as far as no, no, there's more. It's Naruto and then it's Sasuke. <laughs> yeah. And then you got Go yeah. Go Ten, and then after this, I think you start uh, diversifying a bit, and you do not. I think eventually you do come back for them, but it's hard to tell. But yeah, yeah. Just- at some point, there's a there's a whole playlist of them actually. But at some point, I just stopped because I think we were transitioning into Xenoverse Two. There's 35 of them. Wow. Yeah, I did the Ox King. Wow. Wow, you um, did a lot. I will say there's a great video about what you expect from um, Xenoverse 2 that is not included in one of these that we're looking at. But the best thing about it is that it says, my reply to rhyme style at the end of the video. <laughs> 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 oh, 
<laughs> which was pretty great because to, to be fair you were super into xenoverse and it was just like oh, okay you saw a lot of people were talking about what to expect from um uh from xenoverse yeah. so let me give in my and that was before i started uh talking to him too nice <laughs> also in terms of just like great thumbnails that you had you should check out the thumbnail for why you should watch one piece because it has a picture it just says cheeks worthy and it's fucking bart with his ass out Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, great this is great stuff so that's your first video and I think this is another great video that we got right here. This is something different. This is, I think, when you were finally getting away from some of the Xenoverse stuff. This is more of a, uh, I guess, more of, I guess, an anime style review. Not an anime style review. It's more like a character in depth view. Here is your next uh, video. It is Is Broly a good uh, character? Why Broly, the legendary Super Saiyan? Broly is one of the most beloved characters in the Dragon Ball franchise. In fact, he was so beloved and profitable that Toei took it upon themselves to feature Broly in three films that were titled Broly the Legendary Super Saiyan, Broly Saiyan. Oh, there you that go. was when I started. Uh, that's actually about when I st So, like, what I did from there was I started doing more discussion type videos mm -hmm. and breakdown type videos. Uh, so this one was when I started a series I was doing called uh, Dragon Ball Insight in which I tried to start finally like doing different types of edits and stuff like that, which are in here. Um, and, and I do general, you know, discussion that a lot of people were doing at that time. Cause around this time it was very popular to have the big old dragon ball discussions. Like every day rhyme would upload one or Quaman would upload one or, you know, that type of stuff. Nowadays, a lot of us are just gamers now, but mm -hmm. that was very popular back then. So I jumped into that too. And then uh, I was like, you know, who's a good popular character, Broly? And I'll talk about him, give my opinions on whether or not he was actually a good villain. And I'm thinking that, in long story short, I say no. I think Paragus was a better villain than Broly was, technically, motivationally. Mm. Um, and there we go. Yeah. I will it say, short. It short very short, very good. I, I really like the way you edit some of this, because this actually reminds me a lot of when I was trying to. Uh, one time, a long time ago, I think I've said this story multiple times, one time for video editing class, um, our teacher specifically told us, you only really transition you need is a, is a scene transition, and then don't use any of the other ones. And then my friend walked in late, and he was like, all right, dude, hey, baby, what's up? This is the way he talked. So he was like, hey, baby, what are we going to do for class today? And I said, oh, just doing video editing and just put a bunch of fucking effects on it. Just do whatever you can to make it nice and popping. And he said, okay, thanks. <laughs> and then he came out with, like, a video that was, like, two minutes of just star wipes everywhere. And to be fair... <laughs> You don't do Star Wipes, but you definitely do some of this wipes here. I really like the beginning intro of this, because it's like a very slow, introspective look at Broly, and then you also have like this extremely silly walk of Broly going forward. <laughs> oh, man. There's yeah. also Oh, this is also good. This is where gameplay shows up. And I don't want to ask, is this like a mod for Broly in a game? Because I can't tell. That, uh, that game is um, Zenkai Battle Royale. It's another arcade game, I believe. It's been a while. And then I switched to Xenoverse. But yeah, it was Zenkai Battle Royale. I also experimented with putting in um, gameplay as filler when I couldn't find the right scene I wanted. That's part of the reason why there was gameplay in certain spots. Mm. I definitely see some of the... Because I saw a lot of your older videos and it's been you know, preparing for this. I need to prepare the this. <laughs> this is a very dumb thing we're doing, but God damn it, I'm going to be prepared. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and some of your old uh, Super, I think one of the very first like episode reviews for Super had you like fighting Goku versus Bardock. No, it was when uh, Champa was revealed why he was doing the tournament. It was like a ah uh, yeah. Which and is see, like at that at that time, like I said, a lot of people were doing discussions. If you go back and look at everybody's channels, like all the prominent Dragon Ball uh, channels, whether or not they still upload content, like Dragon Ball Nation and a lot of other people that were names back then. Um, they all were doing the discussions, and all of them just used generic gameplay. You just go on and record gameplay, and you were good. And see, like, for me, that's one thing I learned was the model, basically go in and just do gameplay, and it's the easiest way to kind of do that. So I even had an archive of, like, maybe, like, 20 fights that sometimes I'd recycle because it would just you just record, record your vocals, put them together, boom, shoot it. Yeah, and it's real simple because, you know, it's a fighting game. It has Dragon Ball characters, and it's very hard to use footage from Dragon Ball and not get, yeah, like, and your channel taken down. Exactly, and, but it was, it was even for everything. Like I said, it was discussions, reviews, just everything. You just go on Xenoverse or 
whatever the uh, Xenoverse was basically it. But yeah, you just go on and then get some footage and then you're good. Like that was just the model at that time for what our community did. <laughs> but there were also people that would do the fully like heavily edited thing too, you know, where you have the clips and screenshots and transitions mm-hmm. and stuff. So, but I imagine for someone like literally starting out and also trying to like get their basic foot in the door, not everyone has like one, the resources to do that. And two, the actual, like, like you got to learn how to walk before you can just full on sprint forward. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Well, for me, I was kind of lost too. Cause I was like, man, I'm just trying to like, look, I'm like literally trying to, figure out what I want to do. And I enjoyed what I did, but I was lost and have anybody really to talk to that could really give me experience or like, you know, speak from a position of experience. Mm. Cause they're all my friends were like, like sized and stuff like that. So it was kind of hard, but ultimately it all worked out. It's true. <laughs> You're here with us now. Look at you looking, you made it all these years later just to have you have this discussion with two friends who were at the same position you were back then. <laughs> only difference is that you have way more views than any of my videos from back in the day oh well some of my older ones i've snatched i'm sure that they were they were like 200 views and st- i'm sure there's still videos oh, yeah. like that there i think on there's one channel. i think there's like one video i finally had like uh i think it was around 200 something which for your channel is like i guess very small for me i just looked and goes damn i wish i could do 200 <laughs> on a video <laughs> Yeah, if a video does two hundred views on my channel, that's that's a major yikes. Yeah, <laughs> major. Yikes. For me though, that's a major victory in my book. No, that's, no, that that's all good. That's all good. Yeah, it's all relative to size, the size. You, yeah, you just take the step. Yeah, you just take, take the steps and you continue on. Mm. Yes, of course. So, so yeah, that was, that's the Broly video. That's into looking the Dragon Ball Insight, and here's maybe. I believe it's the first, at least on your channel, unless there's a hidden version of it, the very first summon video you've done for YouTube that is not in your playlist because you, for obvious reasons, did want to, did not want to show it. It is like that, uh, <laughs> that pre thumbnail thumbnail. Yeah, that pre. It's just like this doesn't even have a thumbnail. And then the actual gameplay. So here is yep. your 53 second video of a multi summon for super for like I think <laughs> say carnival. It's only 53 seconds long. This is back. I tell these people, man, don't come. I started way back here, and it was so bad. This was like I think my first. You didn't even get anything. No, I didn't get anything. You're getting shit. No, I hate it. I hate this banner because I spent like a solid eight hundred dollars and didn't even get a single SSR. That's how bad the rates were. Fucking shit. And (laughs) that's a lot of money. What the fuck? (laughs) It was my see. My my thing is it was my first experience with a Gacha game. And oh. I was like, wait, how does this even work? Like, at what point do I get the card? And boy, oh boy, I was so infuriated. Like, it's honestly a miracle that I still play this game to this day. Like, I could have easily quit and just moved on, you know? So from that point, I just was like, yeah, I can't do that again. Now, I can't promise you there haven't been splurges like that over the mm. last four years. But, you know, after that, it became a lot more manageable and stuff. And you know, at that point, I just was like, yeah, right around here in this period, because I was still new to the game anyway. Like I said, first experience with the Gacha game, because I had always looked for a Dragon Ball mobile game. And then one day there just was one. Uh, so first experience with Gacha, and I didn't know how it worked. So I go in and I'm like, oh, just spend, spend, spend. And then you get into that thing where if you can do it, you can if you can if you've done it, you can relate where you go in and you uh, start just rage spending you just go oh i can keep going so yeah that's just that's the biggest thing where you just black out man you just black out you just keep clicking click 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 and at that time it was like i said first gotcha game and also experiencing the fact that you know your card is readily available to make these purchases within like five seconds you just go and it's like okay yeah so i just kept going and i looked back i was like oh i'm fucking broke and I like, <laughs> and I didn't get a single SSR to show for it. So it was insane. For this banner, were you even trying? Who were you trying? Also, this is unfortunate for all the people who are like, this is modern day Dokkan now. You spent $800 for Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, the fucking physical Super Saiyan Vegeta, and <laughs> Super Saiyan 2 Goku. Yeah, that, that was the time. Wow, look at that name font. Holy crap, that's bad. I mean, yeah. Um, <laughs> this is also yeah, fun like, because the way you lay out right now is about in the same way I lay out, except for you actually put Dokkan stuff on the sides. Well, see, I have another interesting little back story for this. Mm-hmm. At this time, 
at this time when I uploaded this, basically the only Dokkan YouTuber was Ichigo. And Ichigo did his videos this way. So I was like, I don't want to just have black, so what would I do? And I was like, okay, well, that seems to work for him, so I'll just kind of do it. See, like at that point in time, my channel, everything that I had done, aside from the character creation thing, because I thought that was pretty original, but everything I had done was stuff that I wanted to do, but I also took bits and pieces from what everybody else was doing to try to craft it into my own thing. So like Dokkan, this is like one of my, this, you said this is my oldest video. So it's probably right when I had first, it is right when I first started mm -hmm. playing the game, because I think I remember the banner before this, but this is literally when I first started playing uh, in, in August or so of 2015, when the game just came out globally. Uh, this one was actually October, but regardless. Um, so like, I noticed that Ichigo was doing that. And like I said, at this time, I was like just taking bits and pieces from what everybody was doing successfully and applying it and seeing if it would work for me in the same way. Now, of course, over the years, I've had to change up, adapt, stuff like that. But here I was just ecstatic. And then at this point, I actually didn't even have a microphone like for like what I wanted to do. I was using my MacBook and just recording from the internal mic before I realized, oh, hey, I should probably not do that. You yeah. know, and that's part of the reason why in some of my videos I sound softer spoken. It's because I'm talking from a distance anyway. You're so, not using like a legit mic. You're just using the inbuilt thing on your stuff. Yeah, exactly. So like it just wasn't the same. And then for this, I <laughs> the really funny thing about this was at the time I worked for uh, Apple corporate and um, I was in the office and nobody was there. I, I clocked in at like 6 a.m. Um, so I'm in this big ass building by myself. Uh, well, maybe like five other people are there, but I'm in this huge, like three story building by myself and um, I'm on my computer. And then on the side, I have my MacBook on my desk and I'm on my phone at the same time because I'm just like, I'm just messing around, you know, and I'm like, oh, hey, I can do a multi summon. Let me actually plug in my phone and record it. And that's how this video came to be. I actually uploaded this from work. <laughs> and I just was real like, dividends back then. <laughs> do, what, do what you got to do. <laughs> well yeah like i said it, it wasn't it's not it wasn't a customer facing job i mm. got to sit behind a computer all day and i clocked in at like 6 a.m and that's why i did this nobody was even there and i just fucking went. I was like i'm gonna do a multi summon nice. and then i rage summoned and wound up you know this this started the rage summon because later that day on my way home um i was riding the bus and on my way home it was just summon 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 so by the time i get home i'm like oh shit it's like, oh no, I've made terrible decisions. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, it was it was a really bad like two weeks. It and, was really bad. yeah, and this is definitely back during the time where actually getting an SSR was a fucking nightmare. Unless you played, yeah. I guess JP, which apparently was the, the which is why a lot of global people eventually just went to JP because they heard, oh my god, mm -hmm. they have a guaranteed SSR. Go over there. <laughs> why wouldn't you go over there? Well, and, yeah, at this point, the rates were below one percent for sure. Um, and 1% isn't unheard of because you still get the 1% rate for a specific unit these mm -hmm. days, but the old Good way shit. higher. Yeah. So like the thing is you nowadays get the 1% overall, which means that the individual rate was way worse <laughs> back then. So it, uh, I guess I said, it's not unheard of to have spent however many multi summons that is and not get some, like it's, it's mm. nowadays. You, if you spent that much money, you probably were able to rainbow the unit. If not, you got pretty close. Yeah. And we weren't even summoning for dupes at this point, right? No. And then I remember right after this, uh, we transitioned into the Christmas period, and there was a Goku SS3 Christmas banner that came out on Global, and JP had, had one too. And, and JP's Christmas banner was Global's, I think, transitioned to like 1.5% or something like that two mm percent -hmm. uh because it was enhanced rates and that was like the best fucking thing ever it was an insanely good banner because it had better rates and like now looking back on it it's like that's a super trash banner you would still pull nothing mm -hmm. and then i remember i got like three ssrs and one multi on jp because they had like three percent rates for their christmas banner i was like this is the best banner in the history of the game <laughs> <laughs> you know holy shit three percent rates this is the greatest <laughs> that's what the Whole community was saying though. Uh, it, Reddit, that banner got praised like, <laughs> yeah. Just people were like, yeah. Oh, 
My God, <laughs> life big... is worth living still because of this man. It was a really big deal. And I'm like, wow, I wish Global could do that. I think I even have a summon video for that one, actually, where I got three. In... Yeah, I do. Where I got three in one. Now, I don't know where it is, but I know it's up here somewhere. Right, I'll, find, I'll find it up there and I'll show everyone the great just to show the 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 basis of the of the d free luck was right there at that banner with the three ssrs uh yeah you know what's the funny thing is that i actually did not know that uh ichigo was one of the first people i remember hearing him because i'm the sub see back then for me my dokkan experience was literally all from the sub so the only actual i just assumed he was one of many i didn't actually know he was one of the first or the first so to say yeah he um he was basically like the first one to really be noticed about it. I'm sure he wasn't the very first person to upload a video. Even if it's a video in the fashion like how mine was, 50 mm -hmm. seconds, no talking, stuff like that. I'm sure he wasn't the first one to do that. But he was the first one to really be big like that, at least in our community, you know, mm -hmm. uh, English-speaking community. But aside from that, that's when it transitions into I do it and then I never stop, of course. But mm -hmm. I do it from there and then I, I start doing guides and stuff like that and I start kind of picking up steam, and then when I start picking up steam, Dino starts doing it, and then after Dino starts doing it, we all start picking up steam, and then Tyler pops in, and then that's how we kind of get to work. I'm sure more people were in there a little bit. Mm. But around that time, where it was, you know, really he was the only one that I know of that was kind of big back then that was kind of doing it 20K, 15K, stuff like that, and those numbers. And then I transitioned into doing and started making a little bit of you know noise in there and growing a bit too. So yeah. it was a different time. For Definitely. Me. And speaking of your early guides, let me quickly, the next video on here is one of your very early guides about uh, how should you doke on your agility Golden Frieza. It's a very short guide, and I think it teaches you a lot about how to doke on your agility Golden Frieza, which is, I believe, is go into the menu, click doke on, and then doke on your Golden <laughs> <laughs> wow, the countdown to Resurrection F event. Wow, I wish they would bring that back so I could actually get the cop Krillin, man. God! The one card that you're missing that you would actually want. <laughs> yes! Oh my goodness, man. The cop Krillin. This event will never come back, though. It's not even in the keys. It'll never come back because it was a prelude event. It was a prelude event to Resurrection F, the movie releasing. And... Resurrection F released, the Dokkan event released as well, and the prelude event never came back. <laughs> I'm so mm -hmm. mad just seeing that banner there. It's literally not even in the keys events. It is not coming back. <sighs> it's never to be fair, I, it might have came... Okay, I don't want to say never. I think it came back like... In Pretty like, sure it did come back one time. Yeah, yeah it, I think it came back it once, yeah. and that's it. The, the oh funny thing God. is that now if it comes back, that our uh, Cop Krillin is never going to be seen again. Because if he comes back, he's going to get the Gohan treatment where he's just going to be SSR from the start. <laughs> so you'll never yeah. have the original R Krillin. So only me with my SA-10 <sighs> Krillin. That's the one card that I'll always say I'll have over you. And that's the only card I'll have over you. God, I had it. I sold it accidentally. This is, I don't know if I didn't. I didn't yeah, really you got to lock your shit, bro. Yeah, I was gonna say I didn't really pay attention to locking my cards back then, man, and it was the biggest mistake of my life. And I didn't notice <laughs> until it was too late. And then my JP started. Lesson. Yeah, I, and my JP, I didn't have it, so I, I don't, I don't, I didn't have a chance to get him. So, mm. as far as that's concerned, I didn't, I don't have him at all. I'm like, what the hell? And I remember this event too. You know, around this time, by the way, is when I started trying. Was I wasn't talking at all still. No. And like a lot of these early Dokkan videos are about thirty seconds to a minute. Oh, this one specifically, by the way, I bring this one up because you have one video for each Frieza. So it wasn't enough to make <laughs> one. You made one for every single Frieza individually. Each and they, one is one minute long. Each one is one minute long. It's every single Frieza has its own video. <laughs> oh, man. Which, like, like no, I said, oh, different time. Different hold on. Time. This one isn't even a guide, though. This is like a, This is like a little one of those, like... Oh, I did this type of videos. No, you know? but it's not a guide at all. But yet you say how to Dokkan Awaken. Oh, no, it says Dokkan Awakening to Agility Golden Freeze. Yeah, just showing nice up. try. Nice mm. try. I thought I got you there. I was about to say, what the fuck are you doing here? This isn't a guide. <laughs> this doesn't tell you anything. But all right, that was a m my misplaying. But that doesn't change the fact that you made one for every single Frieza. <laughs> Yeah, uh, this is different times, man. Different times. Different times. Imagine doing this today. Actually, could you do this today? <laughs> I could, but you people say, were like, 
so mad. Can you, you release so them? Release a video saying Dokkan Awakening Botama, and then it's just a minute long of you clicking the clicking it, and then he gets <laughs> turned into an SSR. You don't even train him all the way. Man, that was like the actual meta back then, though. I remember like all the people making those videos, and it was literally like the justification was, well, if you don't have him, you might want to see the animation. <laughs> Oh man, um, I re- that was that was legitimately like the wave with content creators for a little while back then. You know, yeah, to be fair, it was they weird would like go on awakening my shit, and it would just be because <laughs> I remember people always linking them in the the chat back when it was like a Chitango page or whatever. <laughs> wow. <for the> subreddit. <laughs> and they would always drop videos of people, and it's like it was always thirty second videos like uh, my STR Broly. Oh clicking yeah, it and clicking the medals and it finished. And that was the video. <laughs> Imagine seeing that animation. Meanwhile, I skip every single one of those animations because there's no reasoning behind them. And also, while we're on the old Dokkan trick, here's your old box showcase. This is your character. I just want to say, hey, what is going on, guys? My name is D Free, and welcome back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys my character box. I did this last month. I'm pretty much going to be doing this in the middle. See of the, the characters, and this is you actually talking and telling us which one of these units is good. And he has Kaioken in the thumbnail. Goddamn right. Damn right. <laughs> So here's old D-Free telling you about how and why some of the... Also, you get a text at one point where you say, Damn it, don't fucking text me, I think. Threshold right here is not, Damn it, don't text me. His key... <laughs> phone- <laughs> so, real, uh, real... Nowadays, I guess you're, you can just tell your phone, Please don't send me any messages. But back then, you were just like, Oh yeah, so here's my box. It's real good. Let me show you this Goku... Don't send me a fucking message. All right, then. So we're going to keep going. <laughs> I relate to that. Sometimes you're like six minutes into a video and you get a text and you're like, you know what? I'm oh, not I doing still that get it. again. I still get it. And I just like, nope, not doing it. I'm, I'm, I am done. Sometimes I have to scrap the whole video. And then there are other times I crop it out or like cut it. Oh, that YouTube editor blur. <laughs> YouTube editor. If only. <laughs> wow. I just feel like to Goku. Yeah, you're showing some real champion cards here, just to show. And it, this is also great because it's one of those old things. So now, if you ever want footage of you talking about how, oh yeah, this old SR is really good. Here's your, <laughs> this is your your clip of you saying that. <laughs> oh man, the simpler times, man, the simpler times. Oh yeah, you're showing off the the Inchoutsu, by the way as well. So you're just like, oh yeah, he stuns. Oh, super strikes. Oh, look at that Super Strike Piccolo Jr. <laughs> Still not received the Dokkan Awakening at all. His event actually isn't in the keys either. Him and Kabito aren't in the keys. So, like, they're never going to re- get one. They're, like, discontinued. Damn, we're locked away to the Disney vault, never to be seen again. <laughs> And this yeah, is just, uh, yeah, Kaioken, still a, one of the godliest cards in the entire game. I love um, how a lot of these cards aren't even awoken. Like they're just like partially trained. That's the that's that's how things were back then, man. You didn't even have all the awakening medals, all the freaking Zenny. Remember all when that Elder stuff. Kai medals were really hard to get? Yeah, you had yeah. to play that shitty Snake Way event basically to get them. Remember, and I remember running that event all day long, bro. Do you remember when people hyped up Snake Way as the savior for the Elder Kai's, and then you played it and you were like, "This is bullshit. I didn't get a single drop." Yeah, exactly. And it was a long ass event. Yeah. That event doesn't come back anymore either, though. No, they got rid of that. It's smart. And I know, especially because Global eventually got to the point where, the, the, like, because a lot of people forget year one Global and how shit it was. Like, remember when they used to just cycle the same, like, here, you want to get Raditz oh, and Kid go home? The Bojack event? You know how many times the freaking Bojack event reprinted itself over and over and over and over? Over oh and over again. Oh, my God. That was the only event. And, like, for, like, a solid, like, six months that was there all the time, basically. It would leave and then it come right back. Every yeah. single Remember, time. All uh, the other ones too. People loved that Gohan because he was a Super Saiyan. Yes. Oh, yeah. He was a free to play Super Saiyan. And that 10% link used to be all that mattered. Yeah. And then finally, when the Super Saiyan Goten and Trunks that were SRs came out, because you could make a full team of six Super Saiyans. Yes, I remember this all. <laughs> Again, simpler as times, man. Back when you, you're also showing off this kid Gohan, which is amazing. <laughs> I gotta stop looking at your old box because it's. I could literally just do this all day. Let's go on to the next video. Now, this one, this one is one we're actually gonna hear 
the Monaka stuff. I this is like basically one of your uh, super videos. Ah. I just linked this one because I believe the episode title is "All Hail Boma's Tits" and Monoka is also in it. I think is the full title. Yo, what is going on, guys? My name is D Free, and welcome back to the Dragon Ball Super Review, in which today we're going to be reviewing Dragon Ball Super episode twenty nine. And um, I'm a little sick, so forgive me for that. I got a little bit of stuffiness, a little bit of a cold right now. But I also wanted to kind of say, you know, I'm not going to be as hyped in this review because in my last review, Kageyu no Kaze told me that, uh, you know, I can't be hyped because, you know, the episodes aren't that great. Monaca. You know, be Beerus hyped. is Beerus. strong. All hail Bulma's tits. Episode 29 review. It is a nine minute video if it's just this one image of Bulma's giant uh, from Super from when they do the down shot. And oh so this is where I'm going to finally ask you when, so when you start doing like episode reviews of super and you do, this is only the 29th. You've done plenty of them at this point. There's even I had a, started from episode one uh, yeah. of the air. So all, all the way upwards, there's even a great video where you say like, uh, something about pacing D free puts these people in their place talking about <laughs> the pace of super. <laughs> it doesn't say that exactly, but I feel like that's what the tone you're going for. Oh, man. I even have some rants and stuff like that, too. So, yeah, yeah, a lot of fun times. I, again, implore you, everyone, to go watch these old videos, throw up a like, put acrylic in the chat. Oh, my God. Just ruin these old video formats. So this is the question I wanted to ask you. When Naka showed up, do you remember making any like I couldn't find one where it said like, which is what I was hoping for, which was like, like a 20 minute video of you saying theories on Monaka. What's his true power? What's his? Oh yeah. I didn't know Dino has a video like that. That got like a million views at the time. I was like, this is the biggest load of bullshit I've ever heard in my life. So I didn't bother making one. Oh damn. <laughs> so what you're saying, I thought about it though. I was like, do I want to make a video talking about that? Like what? Like who is because at the time they had just introduced him and stuff, and then they're like, "Oh yeah, this is there's this super strong guy and all this other stuff." And you know, it was I don't remember exactly what my thought process was back then, but I I don't and I also don't remember exactly what was said uh, around that time of super and stuff. Uh, but yeah, they either directly said it was Monaka. When Beerus was like, oh, yeah, Goku, you're one of the strongest I ever fought. Either that or it was a retcon in the show or something like that that leads into Monaka being, quote unquote, at the time, like one of the strongest people ever mm -hmm. and leading into the Champa tournament. So, like, I was like, I don't know how I want to handle this. And I didn't bother. Because right. I, I kind of I kind of took it seriously, but then I kind of took it as a troll. So I don't know. And I you, mean, we know how things turned out, but you ended yeah. up being on the right side of history on this one because uh, <laughs> everyone basically got duped from the Monaka stuff. And now you don't have like something like Ryan, where he has a million hit video on Monaka, where he's taking it super seriously. <laughs> yep. That's what I was like. Nope, not doing it. This is the biggest load of shit ever. I'm not falling for it. Monaka was cool, though. He was cool, but he has, yeah. yeah, he's cool. He has large nipples, and I feel like the, big the Ponta, the great Ponta, exactly. And uh, this is the last video on here, so we're getting close to the end. I didn't want to do a full because literally you have over two thousand videos. There's a bunch of like Naruto videos, a bunch of like you playing other games I could talk about, but I wanted to keep it just. Maybe we'll come back again later. We'll say D free. What's up with these videos, part two? Oh my god! But let's see the final one because I saw this video and I immediately went like, "What? What's going on here?" It is called none other than "What would you do for a Klondike?" What would you do? Okay, what would you do if you had a Klondike fucking bar right here, right now? No lie, I want to know down below in the comment, like right now. Just pause this shit, leave me a comment because I know for me. I'll eat that shit. Peace. Bar. <laughs> <laughs> and it's uh it is a, a live it's 22 seconds long. You enter into the frame, muscles and a Batman shirt and some glasses. <laughs> it asked the very salient question, what would you do for a Claude Dyke bar? Tell me in the comments. <laughs> And so I oh, gotta the, ask, the, comments is the best part. It is. It is great.
It's also got, I believe, this one, I actually do know the dub review. I think it's about over 500 views <laughs> around it. And it's you talking about what would you do in a Klondike bar. And I think your first comment is like, uh, let me actually find it because it's a really good uh, comment. God, no. Okay, here it is. It is over 6,000 subscribers. You've let success go to your head. <laughs> Oh man, these comments are great. No, no seriously. What you was... need to listen to this goddamn thread. So this dude says, I would bring a gun and shot the guy who created those bars so that I don't have to deal with these questions. And him oh, with like seven exclamation marks after it. <laughs> See you back. And he said, thanks. I thought I'd only get hate for killing him. I really appreciate it. <laughs> I also, uh, deep- <laughs> I would slowly peel the wrapper, grab the bar, put it in my mouth, take it out of my mouth, grab a gun, and end my worthless life. <laughs> Listen, you said a little no prob to the guy who said thanks for not judging me for killing a man over a Klondike bar. <laughs> uh, Deepree, could you say the exact thing you commented on this video so I can have it in audio form? <laughs> I see it. Can you please say it? That I'd eat it, I'd fuck it, I'd marry it, I'd impregnate it, then I'd rape my kids. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> 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 to repeat the cycle, I'm ashamed of the things I do with the contact. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my god. So, <laughs> I want to thank everyone out there for joining us for no. T-Free. These- nope. If you heard it, you heard it. That one is gone. <laughs> and the shit out of this and putting it all over Twitter. I saw that and I was immediately like, oh shit, should I bring this up to D Free? <laughs> like I said, it was a different time back then for Doka. Yeah, no. no, no, no. Things have changed a lot since then. That sounds a lot worse now up. than it did back then. <laughs> the fucking internet. Oh, oh, my totally God. not hosting the Oscars anymore this year, bro. <laughs> Oh my god! Uh, I'm su- I'm sure there's a lot of crazy shit like that. No, that I said definitely. It's <laughs> I been. I don't think there's much like that. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell! I would have never saw that ever if you didn't bring it to my attention. Yeah, ever. <laughs> so that's why this is so good. Is that I'm glad we did this because once I saw that video and I read the comments. Oh my god! We'll see the thing about this video before we get out of here. Yeah, sure. Um, Actually, explain explain the video because we didn't talk about the video at all. <laughs> yeah, so the video was around this time. One thing that I experimented with was doing little short little skits, you know, that I thought would be humorous and stuff. And uh, also another thing that happened was I was not somebody that did a lot of face cam, mm-hmm. so. Often I would get, and this is something that actually continued until like maybe a year and a half ago, two years ago. Uh, but often I would get like, oh, when are you going to do a face reveal? And like at that point, I had maybe done like three or four videos where I just randomly used my face. And like in like a couple of super reviews, I used my face. And like, you know, sometimes like I just randomly did it, you know. Um, and that's kind of what this was. It was kind of like another little face reveal for people that hadn't seen my face at the time. So I was just like, yeah, I'll. I'll do one little quick one that'd be humorous, and yeah. So here we go. That's how we talk about uh, Klondike bars. Wow. Yeah, I will say in terms of reveals for your face, you you put in all the stops. <laughs> I think at the time <laughs> this video was not appreciated. I hope everyone goes out for this video <laughs> because it deserves all the love in the world. It brought me such joy <laughs> when I saw it. This is such a random video to find. It is. And the funny thing is that it survived the purge. Is that you said at one point you charged. <laughs> he purged us all shit to delete <laughs> <laughs> You're like, that's good enough use. Let's keep.
keep that going. <laughs> We're done here. There's no. Uh, so, no, I, I didn't actually delete this video. We have that comment now. Oh my god! I <laughs> actually thought. Go ahead. I thought. I thought. Um, I thought that you were going to. Uh, I th- one one video I thought you were going to do, and this is one that I purposely have let stay and sustain the test of time. Right. Okay. So, are you guys? Are you guys on YouTube right now? Yes. Tell me. This is an impromptu one, but if this is one that you thought that I missed, we need to see it. What is it? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I I'm gonna get it right now. But this is actually a good one. Hold on. Yeah. I have let this one stay forever. I just need to find it really quick and then uh man. I want this. I want you guys I want to get I want to hear what you guys say to this. <sighs> let me do this. Son of a bitch. Oh, there it is. Okay. So uh uh okay, I think this is it. So all you should have to type into YouTube, if I did this right, is, yep, uh, Dokkan Awaken, Perfect Cell to LR. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is D-Free, and welcome back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And today we're on the Japanese version of the game. Um, honestly, the reason why we're doing this is because I just really spent the last two days or so, and the last month, honestly, last time this event was around grinding cell metals to make my cell LR. If you guys are not aware, uh, that's where the cards that are already UR get another awakening, and they stay UR, and they're able to go to level 120. So I'm going to be showing you guys my cell making the extension, the extension, ascension to LR. So, um... Let's go ahead and uh, and then my video should be on the is, is this Nano. Yeah, Nano's right there. I think I'm like five down. Oh because, yeah, there you are. Yeah. Seventy-four thousand views, and it's not even an actual L. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Can we get 40 <laughs> likes for this video? <laughs> My favorite is one of the comments is, yo, watching this in 2K17 makes you sound freaking retarded. <laughs> uh, oh my god. I got some comments saying clickbait and stuff. Oh my god. I will never... Because the novelty of this video is, is through the roof, man. Because this is, as Zen said, from the time where we called... TUR is LRs basically because a lot. I remember like a lot of people just assumed because the LR logo was in the game a long time before LRs actually became a thing. A lot of us just assumed that they were going to update the transcended URs and make them LRs uh, because they also made transcend URs on global yet. So there was just these URs that were awoken, but they're still URs and they're level 120 now on JP. And it was like, oh, uh, yeah, what the fuck's going on? So, like, we all thought they'd go LR. So I called it LR because that's what that's what it was called at the time. That's what we called it. Yeah. The whole community. And so I now like I look back at this and I'm like this is hilarious. So I will never change that one. I thought you would have picked that one up. That one's a good one. That one is a good one. I, I, like I said, you have <laughs> over two thousand videos, and there's a lot of good stuff in there. The comments on this video are truly spectacular. Like I can't. D three is <laughs> oh fake news. <laughs> I'm sorry, is a real LR now? Tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and there's another comment I just approved. I was looking at the the pending ones. It said, uh, it was like, oh, I'm looking for videos on LRs, and I come to find out there's a perfect cell LR, and then I look back at my game, and there actually is no LR cell. Now, of course, there is now, but he oh, was there like, is. there isn't one. <laughs> so I got the scoop on that. I think that's how that video grew, like, to 70,000. Because it was like, oh, wait. The real LR cell came out? (laughs) (laughs) Wow. (laughs) That's playing the waiting game. That's fucking playing chess and not checkers. Put to the ultimate test. (laughs) I just looked back at the video one day, and I was like, bro, this video freaking, like, low-key blew up. (laughs) It shouldn't have more than, like, 5K views max. 
It had Air 70 Comics something. Spanning like three different years. And all the really old ones are like, oh, bro, you used your mic. That's awesome, man. And then all the modern ones are like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You fucking liar. And one person said, I think you uploaded the wrong video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. I love that. That is a good one. That I'm, I'm glad you brought that up to me. I had no idea. <laughs> that... Three minute video gets 75,000 <laughs> Oh nonsense, bro! It's nonsense. Oh my god! It's like fucking gibberish. It's like you're speaking. It's it's great because it's literally like yeah, the old vernacular was like there was just, there was yeah, there was a comment that said also I had to put it on one point two five times speed. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah, it was good. That's good. See, look, there's a lot of videos you can find of Dave Free out here, so. Maybe if we have later time later, I'll see if I can find some more of your a lot more hidden gems from your early years before you became uh, what we know as today as the man who does a lot of I just gotcha videos at this point. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, I found there's one video I didn't uh, I didn't I didn't pick. I'll just mention it right now where you talk about moving your Pokemon channel over, and then I clicked on your Pokemon channel and there was only like four videos. <laughs> oh my god so there's a lot of good stuff in there um i want to uh, we're gonna end this right here because first of all this laptop's dying on me but let me tell you this was a fucking good time <laughs> this is a <laughs> i'm missing wrestlemania right now i would gladly do this one again <laughs> instead of go back for wrestlemania <laughs> Uh, thank you, D Free, for joining us and just being like the ultimate sport about this one. <laughs> you got to. <laughs> it was a trip down memory lane, but I feel like we were, you know, we were pretty fair. You event- you defended yourself. I learned that that Golden Freezer thing was not technically a guide, so you got a pass on that one. Oh, yeah. You tried it, man. I tried. You tried it. I'm going to tell you <laughs> right now. The most important lesson is we learned what you would do for a Klondike bar. Yeah. <laughs> That's the important thing we learned. So, for everyone out there, thank you for joining us. And we'll say goodbye until, you yeah, know, until another time, until another video. So say goodbye, everyone. Bye. See ya. Bye.